I'm Jeff Beston in Tua Labs CMO, standing here in our Toulouse, France laboratory. And I'd like to share some pretty exciting news and I think fairly unique news in the world of multi-touch. It's massive multi-touch in any web browser on any multi-touch device. Now don't get me wrong, by definition, HTML5 brings manual object interaction to the web browser. And in fact, developers have been building multi-touch demo apps for browsers for quite some time now. What you may have noticed, though, is that in all of those demo applications, you see a single object being manipulated one at a time in a single web browser using only one or two fingers. The standard paradigm you're familiar with on the Android, Windows, and Apple-based device. And Tua Lab wants to take this a step further. We want to bring multiple objects and multiple interactions to any web browser on any touch device. To be fair, this is a technology preview. I am in our lab but it's something we plan to deliver in 2012. Good, let's get to the demo. What I have here is in Tua Face presentation. This is a what you see is what you get editor. In other words, whatever you see here is how it'll look on the various multi-touch devices. Now we can already deploy to your standard multi-touch devices, kiosks, touch screens, tablets, interactive walls. We can now create HTML5 based touch applications as well. All I need to do is deploy this to a presentation cloud, as so, and now it's accessible as a web page. Let's look at that here on the iPad running Safari. So what you see is our presentation website. I'm going to select the web page we just created, and there are the four images you saw in the editor. I can then manipulate in the individual objects, the images, using the one and two finger gestures you're familiar with. You've seen this before on your iPhone and, or touch device. There are a few unique things we bring to the table. For example, multiple finger interaction. You've seen one and two fingers, but multiple finger, like the grab gesture for closing an object, something in Tua Lab can bring to the web browser. Another one is the notion of continuous gesture recognition. I can grab an object, transpose it, increase and decrease the size, grab with multiple fingers, and do the grab gesture to close. This notion of continuous gesture recognition is in fact part of a patent in Tua Lab filed back in 2008. So let's be clear, this is a web page. This is not an application, it's not using some plugin, it's not using magic, it's just a web page. Which means everything I just did here can be done in any browser on any touch device. For example, the Samsung Galaxy Tab. This is an Android based device. You've got a, our web page running inside Google Chrome. It's the exact same images you've seen before, and I can manipulate them as you've seen before. Now, Google Chrome is not hardware accelerated on Android just yet, so the interaction's a little slow, but we expect hardware acceleration next year. I'm gonna move on over now to the 32-inch 3M screen. This is running Internet Explorer, and I wanna show you another feature we bring to the table here at Intua Lab. Alex, thank you. I'm going to grab this image here. Alex is going to grab a couple other images. We're going to manipulate them at the same time. We at Intua Lab call this uh, massive multi-touch. It's again part of that technology we submitted back in 2008. Let's move on over finally to this MS Surface table. This is MS Surface 2. Again, I'll have Alex join me. He's going to grab one image. I'm going to grab another. This is the massive multi-touch you've seen before. This is, of course, now running on the Surface 2 inside Firefox. And it takes advantage of all the native capabilities of the Surface computer, but it's just a web page. This is massive multi-touch for any browser on any multi-touch device taking advantage of HTML5 and a Tua Lab technology. We look forward to bringing this to you in 2012.